Hey y'all, it's Maria Ho, Product Marketing Manager at Altrix. I am delighted to have you here for our November Altrix Analytics Cloud Platform updates. We have rolled out some truly exciting new features and we can't wait to share them with you. Without any more delay, let's jump straight into the exciting updates. Starting off with cloud execution for desktop, we're thrilled to announce the integration of Designer Desktop with Plants and the Altrix Analytics Cloud. It's an advanced scheduling and orchestration. You can interwine your designer cloud workflows with your cloud execution workflows with your reports and plans. This is an exciting enhancement, allowing you to use the Altrix Analytics Cloud to orchestrate desktop workflows that have been published to the cloud using cloud execution for a desktop. With this release, you can orchestrate multiple on-premises workflows in a single plan. Moreover, take your automation to a whole new level. Automatic triggering of jobs is now at your fingertips. This is a powerful automation mechanism that allows you to streamline workflows and optimize processes like never before. Our customers can also effortlessly orchestrate both on-premises and cloud-native workflows, offering a unified approach to orchestration across on-premises and cloud-native environments. For more details, read the Introducing Designer Desktop Integration to Altrix Platform Plans blog on the community by our product manager. The link will also be included in the description box below. Now let me pass it to Paul. Hey everybody, my name is Paul Warburg, Product Marketing Manager for Designer Cloud. This month we have some exciting new updates that unlock a whole host of new capabilities for our Altrix Analytics Cloud users. So first and foremost, we have now introduced workflow sharing in Designer Cloud, which means that your Designer Cloud workflows can now be shared between different users of the same workspace. This unlocks some highly desired collaborative features and lets you and your team work together to get things done even faster. Workflows can be shared from the platform library page under the three dot menu. And while you're sharing a workflow, you can also share the dependent files as well. And if two users work on the same workflow at the same time, a notification will be displayed alerting whichever user is working from an outdated version so that you can prevent unintended overwrites. Other than that, our next exciting release is the addition of regex suggestions to our brushing capabilities. So now when you brush over data or highlight data, appropriate regex suggestions will be triggered based on what you've highlighted, allowing you to easily parse, replace, or split columns with just a few clicks. And finally, we have two new tools in Designer Cloud, the Dynamic Rename Tool and the Multi-Column Formula Tool. Dynamic renaming allows users to rename columns as new data passes through the data stream, and the Multi-Column Formula Tool allows you to create or update multiple columns based on a single expression. We're always adding new features and tools to Designer Cloud, so stay in touch for more exciting updates soon to come. With that, I'm going to pass us over to Hannah to take us through our updates to App Builder. Thanks, Paul. And hi, everyone. My name is Hannah Earlston, the Product Marketing Manager at Altrix for Altrix App Builder. If you haven't checked out Altrix App Builder yet, it's a powerful tool within the Altrix Analytics Cloud platform that simplifies the process of creating modern web applications in the cloud. App Builder is continuously evolving with ongoing refinements to enhance the user experience, and we've got some exciting new features to share with you this month. First, app publishing, and secondly, some enhancements to the visual app design features. First, with app publishing, now you can publish apps. What does this mean? Changes made in your sandbox apps won't immediately impact the published version. Now you can enjoy the freedom to test, iterate, and gather feedback from others before going live with your app. Also, if you need to update a published app, can be easily republished with the most recent changes from your Sandbox app. Finally, you do have the option to add a customized path during app publishing, updating both the sharing link and the iframe URL link. Next, visual app design enhancements. We know designing modern apps is important to many of our users, and we're excited to share new visual design enhancements to App Builder that allows our creators to add additional style and functionality to their apps. First, there's new spacer and divider tools. These have been enhanced to allow corner drag resizing, definition of stroke width, and solid or dashed line styles. This provides you with greater control over the app interface. 
Secondly, all tools in the display and interactive categories now offer added configuration options to specify spacing around design components, giving you more freedom to customize the appearance of your app. And that's all for App Builder. Now back to Maria. Thank you, Hannah, and thank you all for joining today. Please let us know if you have any questions or feedback, and don't forget to head over to Community to read the monthly release blog to learn more. We'll see you next month.